you go onto the beach, generally it's a calmish evening, the winds may be rising. You're sitting there, all is quiet. Then this shadow comes out of the water, slowly, and it just it walks up the beach, plodding. And you just sit back and you're absolutely awestruck. Maybe they've been doing it for 60 million years, unchanged. See a turtle coming out, you can't explain. It's something that you don't forget, ever. You have to experience it. It comes up, it knows exactly what it's going to do. It decides where it's going to build its nest. It carefully crafts a hole and then has a rest. And then it lays its eggs. It's beyond comprehension how this can actually happen. And to actually see this happening in the wild, naturally, is an amazing experience. Only in 30 years' time, we're going to have these etchings that we're trying to protect now uh, to come back and nest on these same areas. It's going to take 30 years for your initial protection to result in increased numbers. People say 1% to 2% of the turtles that actually hatch and go into the ocean grow to maturity. Out of 1,000 etchings, just one gets into the mature stage. thousands of hatchlings each year uh, successfully entering the water. But then as they enter the water, it's crystal clear, there's very little cover. There's predators, there's kingfishes, there's sharks, there's all sorts of things, there's birds, there's crabs. Most of them will be killed, uh, but some do survive. And the good news is that in South Africa and southern Mozambique at the moment, we're actually making good progress towards protecting these animals. Numbers are increasing. It's a huge responsibility we've got to ensure that our children and our children's children can see this happening. I hope in the future that we can say that uh, we made a difference. <laughs>